Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use React Hook Form to validate a form and submit a form that uses a stepper component. And uh, I'm going to be using Chakra to create the stepper just to make that process easier. And uh, yeah, I hope you learned something. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I already set up a project using Create React App and I already installed my dependencies. And uh, as you can see here, I already render out a Chakra provider where I pass in the theme. And the reason why I'm passing in a theme here is because I'm using a separate package for the steps. So Chakra doesn't come with a stepper out of the box. So I'm pulling that one in here. And just to give a quick overview for those of you guys who are not that familiar with either Chakra or any of this, I wrote in the readme here the steps that I did to get to the step where I am now. So create React app, uh, use create. So just follow these steps here to get all the dependencies needed. And the first one here is to start the project and then just clean up the files. All right. Okay, so let's get to it. So uh, before I start, I just want to quickly show you guys, I created a component beforehand and I just want to explain quickly what's in here. So basically I'm going to be creating a form. So uh, it's good to have a, a utility component in this case. Uh, I'm renting out a form control where I can basically show an error if I need to. And then a label and then an error message down here. And then just children. So the reason to have this component is just so you don't have to import this stuff all the time and it cleans up the code quite a bit as you will see in a moment. Okay, cool. So let's actually get started on the implementation of this stepper. And it's pretty simple, so uh, it won't take long. So um, in here, under my Chakra provider, I can add, well, let's just add a box in here just to get a little bit of styling. And here I'm just going to add some padding. And then I am actually going to rent out my steps component that I'm going to put, pull in from Chakra UI steps. And here I'm just going to list the steps that I have. So I may have some steps, one called, could be an information step. Uh, oops, step, there we go. And there might also be another step where I can put in some addresses, right? And then the final step where I need to consent or something like this, okay? So this could be a stepper. Now, uh, the next part is I need to pass something into steps here. You can see it's has an underline here. Uh, for that, I can use uh, use steps. Comes with Shaka UI steps, basically a hook for all the state logic that we might need. And the one that I'm interested in is active steps. So I make sure that I pull that one out. And here I need to make sure that I am passing in the initial step. So let me just do that. That's going to be zero. Okay. After doing that, I can pass in my active step here. And uh, now I should be able to see a stepper in my code. So I'm going to open up my terminal and then yarn start to see the browser. All right, cool. Now I see my steps here, information, address, and consent. And that's all well and good. So now I actually want to add all for the form fields here and then start showing you guys how I'm going to go about validating each of these steps and how I'm in the end going to submit the form. So uh, let me, 
under the first step, render out a few form fields here. And I'm going to use my new component here. Nothing fancy. I'm just going to pass in a label as beginning. And then I am going to have also a last name form field here. Let me just check here. Okay, so we see two labels, all good. Now, <clears throat> the way I design this component is I can pass in children. This is going to be my input field. So here I'm going to pass in an input. And the same here. All right. Okay, so now we have our input fields, all good. So now I'm actually going to put in or initialize my <coughs> React hook form. So here I'm going to see if it, nope, can't do that. Use form, let's see if I can, nope, can't. So up here I'm going to import use form from React hook form. Okay, so in here, in my use form, I need to pass a type of the fields that I'm expecting I'm going to use. So I'm going to define them here. So we have first name and last name already rendered out those inputs. But on the address page, I also expect to have a city perhaps. And then on the last, nah, maybe, maybe that's that's fine. Let's just keep, keep it to free. I can pass it in here. Then I'm going to get some nice autocomplete. Now, what do I want to restructure out? So first one, I need this register. This one is pretty standard. And then I need the handle submit, right? When I'm finished with the form, this is also pretty standard. But there's also a another one that I want to get out. And that's going to be the trigger one. And this is going to be pretty key for how we're going to handle this step, this stepper uh, with this form, OK? But I'll show you that later. So the first thing I can do here is I can register my form fields or my inputs. So here I'm going to call register. I'm going to pass in first name since this is the first name input field. And same thing here, I'm going to do that for last name. OK, and while I'm at it, adding all these fields, I may add another input down here. This is going to be for the address. I need to remember form field first and then the label. And then the input field here. Okay. Cool. Let's just see how that looks. So, yeah, I can't actually get to the next step because I didn't create any buttons to change. So, uh, let's just say that good. That's good enough for now. Okay. Cool. So now let's uh, make sure that we wrap our steps in a form. And uh, let's just. Leave the unsubmit for now, or the unsubmit even. And uh, yeah, okay, cool. Now let's uh, just try to add a max width to this so we can easily see what's going on. Okay, that became a little small, but that's all right. Okay, cool. So now we have all our input fields registered. Now we need a some buttons to get from one step to the other one. And uh, at the bottom here, I am going to create a flex container and I'm going to create the buttons here. So the first one is going to be my next button. And uh, actually before the next button, I want to render previous button. Both of these buttons, I'm going to render them depending on the active step, right? So if the active step is not zero, then we expect we can go back. So that then we want to render our previous button. For next button, I want to render this one as long as the active step is not uh, 2. So in my case, I'm going to have three steps. So the index 2 is going to be the last because we start at 0. So that's going to be yeah, our last step. OK. Now uh, I need to do something else here. And that is I need to do something when I click these buttons. So in here, use steps, I have a next step and a previous step uh, function. I can just destructure out and then use it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, Preview step, yeah. 
For the next button, I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to create my own handler. So I'm going to call it handle navigate or maybe handle next, perhaps. That seems a little more telling. Let me just close this panel and these. Uh, handle next. And I'm just going to make a simple error function here. So in here, this is where I'm going to do the validation, actually, for when I want to go to the next step. So if everything is well, at the end, I just want to call next step from my use next hookup here. But before that, I need to validate. So what I can do is I can define a variable. Let's call it is valid. And then I can define a switch statement here where I look at the active step. If the step is the first step, then I want to trigger this validate here. Okay, so this is where the trigger comes in from React uh, hook form. So here I want to actually trigger validation on first name, but also last name, because we have two form fields here, right? And this trigger is actually going to return a, a boolean in this case. It's going to trigger, yeah, true or false, whether uh, everything went well. It's going to be promised though, so I actually need to await it and then make this function asynchronous. Something like this. Okay. So now I can actually check down here if our, if our form is valid then go to the next step. Okay, let's try to look here. Let's try to press next. Okay, so here it didn't work, but that's because we didn't define a case for number one. So let's just quickly do that. And here it's not gonna, it's just gonna be CD, right? Okay, I need to make sure I break after each step. All right, cool. So now I can actually go all the way to the last step here. Uh, and that seems to be working pretty well. Now, I just want to change the styling real quick because it got a little bit messy. So uh, here I'm going to add a gap between the buttons and just a little bit of margin. So everything is a little bit separated here and a little bit margin here. Okay, that won't work. Uh, I made this, let me just wrap it in a box. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of margin bottom here. Okay, so now I'm a little more happy with how it looks up here. Now, it seems like our form is valid, but that's because we didn't add our validation logic just yet to our register. Uh, this is where we add our validation logic. So uh, let's do that. Now, I'm just going to make everything required, okay? So I can actually, best practice is to actually <clears throat> go outside the component here and then define our required validation object. So the value is going to be true, it's going to be required. And then the message is going to be, this field is required. That's, thank you, Copilot. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, kind of what I want to use here. Now I can go to each field and then say required here. And uh, I'm just gonna do that for all of my fields because they're gonna be required. So this is very simple validation. I could add any entire validation that React hook form supports. So that could be a regex or a min length or whatever it may be. But now it's just required. So if I go back here now, and I try to press next, nothing happens. And that's because our validation failed, but there's no visual indicator just yet. So up here, we actually also need to destructure out the errors. And then we need to pass in the error, if there is one, to my form field. So just to uh, summarize here, the form field has a optional property here, which is an error. And that's a string. So if there is an error message to show, then 
I'm gonna mark this form control as invalid. That's gonna trigger a red color. And then also show the message. A error form message here underneath my input. So if I go back here, I can now pass in error. That's gonna be errors. And since errors might be undefined, and also the city property might be undefined if there's no errors, I need to make sure that I'm adding these uh, this optional chaining here behind them. Okay? So add in the two question marks here to make sure everything goes fine. If there's an error, it's get passed, otherwise it's undefined. Same thing for our last name here. And same thing for CD. Okay, so now if there's any errors, I should be able to visually see it. Um, I did a mistake here, it should be CD and then the message. Yeah, okay, that's better. Now let's see if I press next, then I get the. Okay, so quiet. Uh, same here. Okay, cool. So now I actually validated these form fields correctly. Pretty cool. And uh, now I'm at the end. So here I, I do want to submit the form. So uh, I'm actually going to do another check here. If next active step is zero, I'm going to render out a button that says submit. And here all I have to do is just add this one as a type submit button, right? That's going to trigger the unsubmit up here, which I haven't defined yet, but uh, I can just pass in the handle submit trigger from my react hook form, use form hook here, and then I pass in, well, my uh, logic at the very end here. So I could create another handler called handle submit form, and then Grab these values from the form, submit it somewhere to an API if I want, and uh, yeah, do whatever I do, whatever I like really. So uh, the syntax is this. I pass this one in here, okay, like this. So let's just do a log statement, or let's just do an alert if you actually submit it, just to test if it works. Um, let's go back. Okay, so it was pretty clear at work, but let's uh, refresh. Add something here. Mm, okay, need to add it here. Okay, we had the last step. We can submit it, and we get the alert. Okay, so now we created a fully fledged form here, accessible form using a stepper and uh, using this logic we can validate the appropriate fields for each step and then at the end we can perform a submit okay i hope this video was useful if you have any questions let me know and i'll post this code on github peace